Hey everyone, welcome back to another adventure, another epic quest in whole numbers math. And uh, I have a little little picture here about, you know, the stadium, you know, Michigan Stadium, that's in the United States, and how many people are attending. And if you're, you know, Canadian, you know that comma shouldn't be there, but oh well. Um, here Jim is saying, well, I, about 100 14,000 people came and attended the, the football game today. How in the world did he get at that number? So we're gonna look at estimating using something called benchmarks and we're gonna use something called a number line to do a lot of our work today. And so I'm gonna have this problem about ho a hockey game. It's gonna come up now and again. So just work with me here. Um, let's say there was 14,286 people at a hockey game. The number 14,286 is exact. It is a count of the number of people. To write an estimate for the number of people, we can find the closest benchmark. So we can use a number line that's labeled in the thousands. So you can see here, I start um, with 14,000 on the left, I have 15,000 on the right, because that is 1,000. And if we count how many lines are here, so if this is 14,000, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, there's 10, 100. That means each one of these lines is 100, okay? And there's 10 hundreds in 1,000, okay? And so that number 14,286, I'm going to put it, you know, I'm not, I don't know if it's exactly the right spot. Well, if I know that this is the 100 line, this is the 200 line, uh, this 86 means it's probably closer than the 300. So I'm going to put my red dot somewhere about there. And so we know that it's closer to 14,000 because because visually we can see it on the number line. Okay, so we could say an estimate for 14,286 is 14,000. Okay, so this time let's try another benchmark labeled in the thousands. And I got three numbers here and we're going to figure it out. Now, um, what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to pause it. I want you to imagine where you would move these dots and then how you would answer these questions, okay? So pause it there, think about it, and resume when you're ready to go. Okay, so first, um, each line is 100, okay? So if I have 55,517, I need to find the fifth line. There's the 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. It's not exactly 500, it's just over. So let's say about there. Uh, this guy here is in the 700, so if this is 500, that means this is 600, this is 700, and that's 63 means it's slightly over halfway. And here I got 55,100, and if this is the 100, it's pretty much right there, okay? Yeah, right about there, okay? And so we can answer some of these questions. So 55,102 is between, and this is going to be the same answer for all, 55,000 and 56,000. I should have left a space between those. Um, it is closer, just visually, it is closer to 55,000. 55,517 is also between 55,000 and 56,000. And visually, it's slightly closer to 56,000. And 55,763 is between, again, 55,000 and 56,000. And it is definitely closer to 56,000. Okay, so that's using a number line using a number, you know, numbers between 1,000. And we're divided into increment, increments of 100. Well, let's go back to our original problem of the hockey game. And so this time we are going to use a number line that's labeled in the hundreds. And so here's my number line. And you notice that um, we have 14,200 and 14,300. So this is a space of 100. And if I count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, what is 10 of, 10 of what makes 100? Well, 10 tens make 100. So each one of these lines is a 10, okay? So if this is uh, 14,000, this is the eighth line. So the 80, and it's slightly over halfway because that's six, okay? So, um, 14,286 is between 14,200 and 14,300, but it is closer to 14,300. And so we could say an estimate for that number is 14,300. Okay, let's do another one uh, where 
you're going to imagine where these these dots go and we're going to answer some questions so again pause it right here use your mental powers and resume when you're ready to go okay so this first dot 32,614 it uh, we're going to need to look at that this the the number after the six okay because that's the 600 so 14 well that's 10 that means it's about here okay because the next line is the 20. Uh, it's 32,692. Well, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and just slightly over because it's the two. And then we have 32,638. So if this is 10, 20, 30, and 38 is closest, almost close to 40, so we'll put it about there. Okay, so now we can answer some questions. 32,614 is between 32,600 and 32,700. And just maybe to save some time, I'm just going to write the same thing for all of these because it is true. Okay, so the first number, 32,614, which one is it closer to? The benchmark it is closest to is 32,600. 32,692 is closest to the benchmark of 32,700. Okay, and 32,638 32, is closer to the benchmark of 32,600. Okay, if you've realized we've gone between a span of a thousand now a span of a hundred, can you guess what the next one's going to be? We can go labeled in tens. So here I have a number line that's between 14,280 and 14,290. We can get it really exact with this because each one of these lines now is an increment of one, okay? And so 14,286 is between 14,280 and 14,290. It is closer to 14,290. So using that benchmark, an even closer estimate is 14,290. And if you haven't guessed, we're gonna do it one last one here. So again, pause it, imagine where these dots would go and we'll answer some questions. All right, so first one, 8,467. So each one of these is worth one now, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, right on the line. Uh, for 61, that's gonna go right there. And 68 is one after 67. Okay, and so our betweens, our benchmarks are 8,460, 8,470. And let's just say that's the same for all these. Save me some time. Okay, now 8,467, what is the benchmark it's closest to? It is closest to 8,470. Which benchmark is 8,461 closest to? It is closest to the benchmark of 8,460. And then lastly, 8,468 is between those numbers and the closest benchmark is 8,470. Now, sometimes it's important to overestimate. Again, overestimate, okay? Maybe your parents are like, oh, don't be such a drama queen or drama boy. Don't overestimate all the dishes you have to do. Um, but sometimes it is important to overestimate mom, dad. So let's say there's 410 students going to the park from Marjok Elementary. Each school bus holds 50 students. How many school buses should be ordered? Okay. Now, 410 is closest to the benchmark 400. We would need eight buses for 400 um, children. So, because eight times 50 is 400. But that means 10 students will be, have to stay behind. Haha, uh -huh, sorry, you don't get a seat. Okay. So, it, it makes sense in this situation to overestimate 410 to 450. And that way we get nine buses. And those 10 poor students do get to go to the park. Okay, so yeah, there is times when we need to overestimate. All right, that's our lesson. We're just working on using number lines to look at benchmarks to estimate. Now, I know this is not always the easiest thing to do, but it's a good visual way of estimating. Okay, so please remember, in life, math happens. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.